Hello, this is Brian with CH53 Gamer. Welcome back to Fallout 4 The Survival Playthrough, Part 34. Loading Vala Maldoran. Okay, so here we go. Let's start heading south. We'll just do a quick sell real quick, see if he has anything. I know I should! Excuse me. You look like someone needs a drink. Let's see what you've got. Here's what I've got. All right, you got some good stuff. Good, good, good. And I'm not wearing my charisma gear. You know what? Whatever. All right, so heading south. I'm still under the effects of Mysterious Serum. I thought that had worn out, but I guess it was the Rad Stag that wore out. But anyway, so I'm still strength plus five, and I think I have one Mysterious Serum left, and then I can start going and get one more after that, and so on and so forth. Yes, one Mysterious Serum, which is fine. And I wasn't wearing my glasses. That gives me plus one perception. Okay, I know I said I'm going to do Shadow of Steel, but... Reunions. I need to go do that real quick just to get the experience dump for killing Kellogg. And then I'll go do Shadow of Steel. So basically we're going to pass the Brotherhood and then come back. Alright, Raiders on the bridge. Raiders on the bridge. Hidden. 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 Okay, let's, uh, they're, not, they're slowly unhiding. So... Fragmentation grenades. Perfect. Alright, let's just... Okay, that... Is not what I want to do. Okay, good, but it, it, it rolled to them. It rolled to them. Perfect. I let it go a little early and threw it a little early based on the thing, but then it rolled right into them, and that is perfect. Excellent. I'll have to keep that in mind. All right, so here we go. We're arriving at Valentine's Detective Agency. Let's get that experience up for finding Kellogg. Nikki, I'm just asking for your opinion. Oh, Piper. What are you doing here? She's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a woman's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. I'm not with your son. What happened? Uh, let's go with you were right. You were right, Nick. Kellogg took my baby. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly okay, there's a mysterious serum wearing off. Considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. Sarcastic! Oh, Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory. No, I skipped that part of the orientation film. Wow, they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back together again. Look, the sad thing is, I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Well, about him. You see, I kind of shot him in the face with the nuke. And by the face, I mean the chest. But still. The chest is close enough to the face when you're dealing with the nuke that shooting them in the chest is shooting them in the face. Let's go with, he, with he's dead. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Uh, let's go with I had no choice. No, oh, I'd do it again. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. Oh, they both didn't like that one. Oh well. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Let's go with good idea. 
hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Nuke. Face. Head. Brain. Yeah, that's not going to work, probably. Sarcastic. I'm going to need a really sharp ice cream scoop. I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Uh, I'm a lone wanderer. I'm going alone. I'll head there on my own. All right. See you at the den. Don't Duh. worry. We're gonna get you a boy back. Just a few more steps. I got the experience oh, up. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. I guess she's not going back to uh, Starlight Drive-In. Starting Dangerous Minds. Okay. So I was kind of hoping that Idiot Savant would have triggered because that would have been great, but it didn't. So Dangerous Minds is off. Shadow of Steel is on, and that's just the way we like it. Dogmeat looks like he's still my companion. So, all is well. Okay, Nick Valentine's heading to the memory Thank den. You. Piper is heading somewhere. And I am heading to uh, to the Cambridge Police Station. So, unless something happens, I will see you there unless something else happens. Alright, here we go. Arriving at the Cambridge Police Station. There are Brotherhood reinforcements all over the place. And Reese... Halen and Dance should still be inside, along with a bunch of other people. And it has respawned everything, I think. And I don't know where you're going, but if you want to remain a part of the Brotherhood, I'd get back here. Really? Dance? Really? Okay, fine, whatever. Dance. Cavalry's arrived, and it looks like they sent in the big guns. Yeah, they did. Uh, let's go with not exactly subtle. Brotherhood isn't exactly subtle when it makes an entrance, huh? There's no reason to be subtle when you have that in your arsenal. We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. No diplomacy? I'm guessing that diplomacy isn't on Elder Maxon's mind. What's the matter? Don't like kicking in the door? Don't worry. You'll fall in line with our tactics sooner or later. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that were both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. All right, a little ride it is. I'm going to loot this police station and meet Dance upstairs. All right, so heading upstairs dead, to where, uh... Why take the chance? What it was, where dance is, and outside we go. I see a quick little look for loot around here. Yes, he is. Anything? Nothing? I don't see anything at all. So let's get on the let's get on the vertebird. That minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight. I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the local. That's nice of you. Someone is shooting at us, though. Let's see. Where is someone shooting from? We can return fire. The Commonwealth Definitely right there. That. So we, we can spray that with fire. They've All right. already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Hopefully now, it does. Do is find them. Ah, and nice big the building there. We'll have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. But I remember that's a raider camp, so we can fire on it. Fire on the raider camp. Yep, definitely a raider camp. Firing away. Ah, got hit. And we moved on. Woman and child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will. 
gladly Bunker Hill? My own blood if it ensures our victory. Good, Dance. I'm glad you'll do that. Ooh, there's a little... I didn't know there was a little thing up here you could get up and down. Run, oh, interesting. The, the Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. They'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. The good old USS Constitution. Maybe we should do that quest. All right, moving right along. There's the Pridwin. All right, we did not clear the airport for the Brotherhood shots. I think we can still clear the airport even though the Brotherhood are around. You'd think they would clear the airport, but they haven't. Because, you know, naturally. All right, so moving right in. There's the Boston airport. Discovered it a long time ago when we went to the castle on Spectacle Island. We're just going to move on in there. And come on, let's land at the print. I'm glad. It's funny they took over the Boston airport as the main Brotherhood base now. I think it's a nice anchor point on this little airport tower, the control tower. All right, so here we should go for the docking sequence. There he is. It's been far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Yes, I hope so too. Good old dance of the Brotherhood flying around Boston and shooting things up and getting shot down left and right. They brought unlimited numbers of vertebrates because these things get shot down all the time. Alright, and now we are docking with the Pridwin. There we go. And docked. Sometimes Dogmeat falls out to his doom when uh, he docks in a doctor here. So let's hope he doesn't do that. Alright, here we go. Attend to the debriefing. There we go, the Pridwin. Discovered it. Permission granted. Let's capture Kells. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted her to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor her entry into our rankings personally. Oh, yeah. thanks, Dance. Read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. All right, officially in, officially in Dance's in squad. Hey, look at that! Very good. Sir. Right through us. At Victoria. At Victoria. And, okay, let's take care of this water. Properly hydrated. Perfect. All right. So, the Pridwin. Taladin, would you please come upstairs with us? I need to talk to the ca I didn't talk to the captain. Okay, sorry. I thought so, I did. You're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. That was Nate. I'm a lawyer. Sorry to disappoint. Sorry to disappoint you. Sorry? A little soft around the edges, aren't you? If you want to earn your place among the best, you need to toughen up. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Well, let's just remember your name when uh, it comes time to make our in-game decisions. We'll remember this conversation. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. And there goes another murder bird right through the, the right through the Pridwin. Address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you are dismissed. I will go with dismissed. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, initiate. Yep, okay. So, we're gonna remember that. Uh, basically, I don't want to do the Brotherhood of Steel ending because of all the glitches. Which, that is not gonna lead to good things for the Brotherhood. Because you're kind of with them or against them. Alright, so let's attend this briefing. Brothers and sisters. After pick everything up. The road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to Don't mind me, I'm just taking all your drinks. And our mission beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer. Known as the Institute, a 
malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Sin. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium. Dog meat. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. All right. Those simps with the plastic faces. Ugh, they creep me the heck out. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I'm sure you do. Okay, let's go with preparing for war. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. Let's go with, what do you want? What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. Yay, promotion! Befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Yay, power armor! Let's go with sarcastic! <laughs> a knight? What is this, the Dark Ages? Judging from the state of the world, it wouldn't be a stretch to say we're living in that era again. Hey, he agreed with me! Event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. All right, so here we go. Now we have to walk around and familiarize ourselves with the Pridwin. So let's see if there's anything worth looting downstairs. If there is, I'll show it. Otherwise, I will meet you upstairs or at that little, what is a cooking pot? At, it's got copper. Nah, I don't need the copper anymore. I'm good for now. Otherwise, I'll see you upstairs. All right, so here we are. We're on the mid deck. Uh, let's eat some food real quick. All right, properly fed. Let's see. We have to talk to Dance. Yes, Dance first. Oh, good. That's not stealing. Okay, Dance first. Paladin Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? I am a knight. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. Uh, let's go with sponsor. So, what's all this about you being my sponsor? Elder Maxon is understandably particular when it comes to new recruits. He believes in order to keep the Brotherhood strong, we have to bond as brothers. As your sponsor, it's my duty to travel with you throughout the Commonwealth to ensure that our ideals are being observed. That's why I'm so concerned about your performance in the field. I'm not taking you with me. I'll be careful. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Good. Because we've got a lot of work ahead of us, and I don't want anything slowing us down. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Nope, I'm going alone, because I'm a lone wanderer. I'll go it alone for now, and come find you when I'm ready. Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. I think this is Paladin Dance's new home. Completed Shadow of Steel. Yes, I got a nice little uh, 
little bit of experience dump right there. Okay, so now I'm going to explore around. I'm going to loot as I go, and I will show it when I get to the places we have to do the tour of duty. Yes, we have to go talk to these people. So, off we go. All right, so in here we can talk to Quinlan. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Yeah, I'm not here to do that. What? Not even a thank you. I hardly need to. Oh my. It appears I've mistaken you for someone else. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Uh, let's go with meeting the crew. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I am woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Uh, research patrols? Let's go with technical documentation. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. Uh, let's go with uh, just ask already. If you want my help, just ask already. I wasn't aware you were interested, Knight. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts, anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. There we go. So now technical documents will spawn throughout the Commonwealth, and whenever we pick one up, we can bring it back here and get basically free money. Perfect. All right, right across the hall from the Proctor is Cade. Are you ready for your medical exam? You know it. Sarcasm. As long as it doesn't involve petroleum jelly and rubber gloves, I'm ready. No, no. This isn't that sort of examination. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Uh, it was before the war. Let's go with sarcastic. Uh, my father said I used to sit way too close to the TV. The television? Wait a second. Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Probably. Uh, let's go with I don't remember. Or you're kidding. I hope that you're kidding. Not at all. I'm quite serious, actually. However, I'll just assume that your answer to that one is a no. Third question. And please... Answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Sarcastic. Well, there was this one really ugly guy in college. I mean, I had to get drunk and <laughs> it was a dare. I... That hardly qualifies. So i just put no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? I've already pulled the trigger, so to speak, against so many people. And by trigger, I mean baseball bat. Uh, let's go with I suppose so. I suppose so? Good enough. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Well, I'm assuming this is a yet another doctor we can go to. Yay, time to loot this little area and continue on. All right, continuing on this way... Let's see. In here, we've got our very own piece of power armor. Yay. As you can see, it is. That one is indeed ours. So we're going to just come in here real quick, and we're going to grab the fusion core. Nope. We're going to go in here, and we're going to grab the fusion core. Just for now. We'll come back later. Come back later. for. All right. Let's talk to Ingram. Yes. Not what I was expecting. 
Uh, you sound disappointed. Notice she does not have legs. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Let's go as sarcastic. While you're at it, my car's making this weird grinding noise when I back it out of the driveway. <laughs> you're gonna have to take a number. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. I understand. I understand. Good. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. I already There's saw it. A pretty decent T60 suit sitting in bay three that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. So, if you note that T60 power armor is way better than what I got, I think I left the T45 sitting down in the castle anyway. That's why I did, because I knew that we were getting a better Zuda armor at some point. And now we're talking to Proctor Teagan. Proctor Teagan. Step forward, Knight. Even though they were locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Let's go with, uh, look uncomfortable. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Teagan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Let's do it! Sarcastic. So if I'm out of caps, I guess I'll just defeat the enemy with my bare hands. There's plenty of spare ammo and equipment all over the ship. Can help yourself to anything you can find. already been doing that in here is a bit more specialized and unique the good news is by having a constant flow of caps i'm able to buy whatever you bring me yeah, i'm mostly interested in weapons but i'll take anything useful of course if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side i might have some extra work for you to do i'm not interested in that let's go sarcastic as long as i don't end up in the brig don't worry Last thing I'd want to do is get our newest recruit in trouble. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. I don't in think meantime, I like doing that. If you ever need anything else, gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Let's do business. Roger. What brings you to me today? Barter, yes. Set me up. Sure, I've got something that'll put a smile on your face. Completed the tour of duty. Excellent. All right, there we go. Tour of duty complete. Almost leveled up. Three All right. Back. So, show no mercy. Meet with Elder Maxon. All right, I'll do a little bit more rum. What am I looking for? Oh, just uh, a little bit more looting, and I will head that way. Don't touch anything. Yes, I, I think she will give us another recurring. Uh, let's go. Let's go. I won't touch. Don't worry. I won't even go near them. Good. Tampering with the specimens could taint the results and set my research back by months. I'm on the cusp of discovering how these creatures' bodies have adapted to the radiation that's infiltrated their habitats. If I can crack the code, I can equip our troops with a protective compound far superior to Rad X. Let's go with that. Sounds complicated. Sounds complicated actually it's rather simple you see the ionizing radiation left behind by the great war kills because it damages most living things on a cellular level however after several generations these creatures bodies have adapted by altering their genetic makeup to prevent cellular disruption i believe i've discovered how i can replicate that genetic restructuring rapidly instead of decades i can do it in moments for a short period of time anyway Let's go with sign me up. I'm sold. If you're looking for someone to help, you can sign me up. I appreciate the offer, but unfortunately, I've hit a stumbling block. The specimens I've already captured can only produce so much blood and genetic material. If I try and harvest too much, they'll die. 
What I need are more samples of blood from the creatures roaming the Commonwealth. Uh, let's go with glad to help. No I know this is a classic option, but I didn't do it this time. I appreciate your confidence in my abilities, sister. I've modified your pit boy to scan the corpse of any freshly killed creature that has the proper type of blood in its body. All you have to do is pick up any viable sample and bring it back to me. Hey, I really appreciate you doing this for me. It's nice to know I'm not the only person in the Brotherhood with an open mind. So there we go. The Brotherhood will now, this game will now generate viable samples of blood and technical documents, which I can use to take back to the Brotherhood for some free caps. Perfect. And experimental plants, neuron roots. Look at that. Yes. So the Elder Scrolls universe and the uh, Fallout universe are the same universe. Amazing. Look, my own personal storage canister. All right, so here we go. It's time to go get ready to do that thing, but I'm already tired, so I'm going to put all the extra stuff I'm carrying in Vela Maldoran's storage, and then I'm going to get seven hours of sleep, and we'll continue the mission. All right, seven hours of sleep. I'm going to keep the fusion cores because we'll be using them in the power armor because we're going to do the next mission in power armor. Damn, all right, so properly fed, had a nice good little sleep, properly rested. So now... We are going to go get that nice, wonderful power armor that they gave us, T-60 power armor. We're going to use that, and we're going to do the uh, suggested mission in power armor for the Brotherhood. So here we go. Transfer. We're going to give them the least charged core. There we go. And we are getting in. There we go, T-60B power armor, and dance like that because he witnessed it. Yes, I'm sure you will dance. Okay, so now we proceed to the quest marker, up onto the second deck, and then out onto where the vertebrates are. Okay, there we go. I am going to call it the flight deck. I don't know what they actually call it, but hey, it is the flight. Hey, they call it the flight deck! Yay! All right, so favorite, this is why I wanted to get Nordhagen Beach as an artillery place for this mission. But hey, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. So let's go to the quest marker, and let's talk to Elder Maxon, and then we'll do our thing. It is indeed Elder Maxon. Okay, yeah, okay, he's going to talk about the uh, Fort Sean, but we can't see it. We can't see it, but he's going to act like we can. Yes, I can. Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's yes! Yes! And it's infested Looks very, very cool. Of nature close enough the smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse. Good job, game. Good job, game. Yes. We could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there. Wipe out everything that moves. And secure that stockpile. Understood? You got it! Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute. But it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. All right, map updated. Go to the vertebrate gunship, or I'm sure that this is a complete uh, VFR flight to Fort Strong for all you pilots out there. Oh, and it's starting to clear up a little bit. It's starting to clear up a little bit. All right, there we go. God, dog! What? What? This is what happens. This is what happened. He fell off. He fell off. Oh, dog. Why? Why did you do that? Okay, where is the dog? Where is the dog? He is over... Over here? Over there? You know what? No, the dog will eventually go somewhere, and I'll pick him back up later. Because, yeah. Okay, good. The weather's clearing up. Because I'd rather do this mission. There we go. Good job, dog. Good job. Alright, we're in. Alright. And ready to go. Ready to go. And off we go. Excellent. Okay, we're going to do a nice low approach over the airfield. Who knows where Dog is? This is, like I said earlier, sometimes he just falls off. Man, he'll probably get mad and leave and go somewhere. I don't even remember the last last uh, place I told him to go. I don't even remember. 
but we'll figure it out. Okay, so now we can shoot the Vertibird minigun at the mutants at Fort Strong. What we're going to do is land. I'm going to immediately throw an artillery grenade, which is why I wanted to have artillery at uh, the dog that's going to Starlight Drive-In. Okay, good. That's good to know. So now we'll go to, Star to Starlight Drive-In. Okay, so now there's a behemoth somewhere. There it is. So we're going to start shooting at it. He's going to throw at us. Who knows what else is around there. So there's the behemoth. Got a good little one. Okay, got some kill somewhere. I reached level 45. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. He's throwing rocks at the at the at the vertebird. Now we got to be careful with this because he can shoot the vertebird down. They can't shoot it down. So we just want to get this thing done. Okay, he's done some good amount of damage. Uh, there's another behemoth, another suit mute. All right, so he's done enough that I want to land. Uh, but there's no land button. There's no land button. I don't know what button to make it land. Uh. I guess I have to kill the super mutant behemoth? Alright. And the behemoth is dead. And the other super mutant is dead. Okay. Yes. Yeah, thanks. Good job. Good job. Guess that one's dead. I don't even know if anything else is alive. But I'm still going to throw an artillery because that's what I want to do. I wanted to throw the artillery grenades. That's what we're going to do with it. Okay, we're going to just lay down some covering fire with the minigun. Okay, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out! Which button gets out of the burner burn? I don't know! Why? It's just... Okay, there it is. Fight! Okay. That game was upset. That was upsetting that it made it that hard to get out of the vertebrate. So, the, a, another suggestion is just not take the vertebrate because that vertebrate kind of sucked. The fact that there's supposed to be a land button where it lands, then you get out, but that, none of that button was, was showing up anywhere. So, I was unable to get out of the vertebrate, and I was unable to move. And finally, it let me out. Okay, we'll get that. artillery grenades. Let's see what you got. Oh, X01, fusion core. Okay, we're going to take the fusion core, and we're going to remember that there's X01 here, and we'll come get back. Oh, i got to remember that there's a, a, a thing way back there. Okay, where is that artillery strike? Ceasing fire. Okay. Hope that helps. Yeah, thanks, bro thanks, Brotherhood. Oh. Thanks, Brotherhood. So not a single artillery shell landed, and then the... Uh, <laughs> This thing just sucked. So yeah, we just had a bad day. I kind of want to just like restart this mission because it has been sad and pathetic. Legendary soup mute. He mutated and All right, hidden. So between the fact that Dogmeat died, the the uh, Brotherhood, the Minutemen didn't do what they were supposed to do, and the Brotherhood uh, vertebrae was just terrible, that was a terrible mission. So, yeah. Okay, we'll get to level up. All right, so after looking at what's available, I think I'm going to get Endurance to 2 and start heading towards Aqu Aqua Girl because that would be very, very useful to have at some point. So there we go. Now, let's go find all those bodies we killed, including a legendary somewhere. Um, where is this legendary? Where is he? There he is. Let's see what we got here. All right, we got the Ghoul Slayer Sith chest piece. Uh, reduce the natural ghouls by 15%. Eh, not that great. Not that great. All right, so you know, hey, it's a lot of legendary. Whatever. All right, now let's go search all the bodies. All right, so I think I searched all the bodies, at least those bodies. Now we have to go and search, find that super mutant behemoth, and then make our way to Fort Strong. So let's go that way. And, of course, there's any uh, anything in between. We need to find – oh, there's a super mutant behemoth. Okay. Here he goes. Oh, and there's a super mutant right there too. All right, super mutant behemoth. Let's see what he got here. Interesting amount of stuff. Okay, now I'm going to loot the area, and then I'll go to Fort Strong right up there, and I'll meet you at Fort Strong. Okay, I've done a nice little once-over of the area, and I 
think I got most of the stuff worth getting. Okay, here we go. Fort Strong. Okay, so we'll do the standard thing. We will kill all the super mutants and then we'll loot later. Definitely. Ooh, super mute. Legendary. Thank you, subtitles. Wish a bucket head would show up. You got it! Wish the Buckethead would show up. And we did. Alright, so left all those bodies behind. Didn't even loot the bodies. Oh, there we go. Super Mutant Master. Got him in one hit. We will look at this one real quick. Because it's a Super Mutant. Oh, plus 10% damage while aiming. Hitman's 2044 pistol. Interesting. Too bad I don't use guns. Okay. I am just wiping these super mutants out. Okay. Did I get them all? Did I get them all? Let's find out. That's it. Okay, that's the entrance. Okay. Sweet. All right, so in here we got some stuff. All right, and in here we have the Fort Strong Key. Perfect. Excellent. General Brock's Terminal. All right, looks at all these reports. All right, so the general is in charge of making fat men and uh, power armor. Oh, uh, for, uh, Fort Strong Key. All right, anyway, he was in charge of making the fat man launcher and T-51 power armor. So now, now let's do a quick little walk around, make sure everything is, is killed. Yes, that's what we're at now. Just making sure everything's dead. And then figure out where to go from here. I do believe we go through here. Yes, we go down that elevator. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the power armor right here. Alright, there we go. I'm going to transfer. I'm going to take that fusion core. There we go. Okay, I'm going to... Nope, wrong button. Wrong button. Where is it? That This button. Okay, there we go. I'm going to sneak. Now, I'm going to go loot the area and I'll be back here. If I show it, if they show it, find anything, I'll show it. Otherwise, see you back here. All right, so here we are back here. Let's put my fusion core back in. The empty one, yes. There we go. And now we'll enter it. So this is where it would have been useful to have Dogman. I would give him the two full fusion cores and use the partial one, but he's gone, so oh well. All right, so now we have to go forward. There's a bunch of things to kill, and then we'll loot, as usual. All right, so in here. Ooh, what do we got here? A armor workbench. Okay, we'll worry about that later. All right, so here we got this way. Ah, glowing mutant hound. All right. I don't see anything yet. And legendary, a legendary glowing mutant hound. Okay. There we go. One suit mutant. Got the kill. Got the kill. Okay. Got the kill. And there he is. Legendary glowing mutant hound. Got the kill. Ooh, that was some type of missile launcher. What we got here. Irradiated blood. I'm going to leave the missiles behind. Uh, does increasing. The, oh, my. So close to being carry capacity. I'll keep it in mind. Maybe come back and get it. Maybe come back and get it. We'll see. We'll have to see. Okay, there's, there are some rads down here. No big deal. There's a soup mutant. Got him dead. A mutant hound. Got him dead. We're in caution now. Got a mutant and a skirmisher. That one's dead. Still in caution. Uh, now I've got quest markers, which is good. Oh, no, 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 no. Tap, 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 return. Hey, no, no. Okay, okay, you gotta watch out. This guy might fire a missile. Okay, he didn't. Good. Good, 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 good. He didn't fire a missile. That's picked up on the wrong thing that time. Okay, there he is. He didn't even know where I am. Boom. Got him. All right. So that is everyone. So now... Oh, wrong button. Now we need to speak to, for, to Paladin Vance. And I do believe he comes inside here for the talk. So let's go do that real quick. And then I still have to loot the area. And I might have to do... 
a couple of walks around. Paladin, that's serious. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why the hate? Why do you hate super mutants so much? Hates too gentle. Oh, persuasion attempt failed. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. All right, let's go with, uh, makes sense. Makes sense. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. So there we go. We did the important things. Now we have to get to the mission. We have to return to Elder Maxon. So, in that vein, let's go. What does the moldy food even do? Moldy food. Value one. We're just going to drop that. So now we're just going to loot as much as we can. And uh, I'll be back here. I'm probably going to eat a rad stag because that should increase my carry capacity by 25. And then just, you know, loot away. There we go. And it would actually, I could carry more if I wasn't uh, in power armor, but that's all right. That's all right. All right, here we go. We got some mini nukes. One, two. Okay, good. All right, so I did a once over everything. I'm at max carry capacity. Let's just do a real quick look. I don't remember if there were supposed to be any uh, any um, books in here, magazines. I didn't see any, so let's just do a quick look in this last room. Okay, so apparently this is a U.S. covert operations in the General General Brock's office. And I must have missed it because I don't remember picking it up. So I'll just do swing by there real quick and then get out of here. Uh-oh, a mini nuke right there. i got to pick that up. Uvert, there it is right there. There's a pencil. There's a telephone. I'm over capacity and a mini nuke. So we're going to have to drop stuff off. As much as it would be nice to have those um, those mods off a of pipe weapon, let's face it. That's, that's what I can get rid of. Okay, so now back to the Pridwin. It sure would have been nice if they left a vertebrate to get back to the Pridwin, but sadly they did not. I think we have to walk there, which is unfortunate. But if we look at this map, let's see, how do we get there? We just got to go a quick little walk around. Too bad Nordhagen Beach isn't, isn't ours. It would be a nice place to drop off uh, all this loot, a lot of this loot we're carrying. Oh, well, whatever. Got too close to these city downs, discovered it. Hey, you know what? There's something going on in there. I'm just going to ignore it. I don't have the carry capacity to properly uh, get anything there anyway, so I'm just going to keep on going. The idea is to go to County Crossing and drop a bunch of stuff off, and then from there, proceed to uh, back to the print one. And I don't want to caution. So let's, let's find out what, what is cautioning me. Very possibly the robots of East City Downs. I just got too close, and I am not sneaky very well because I'm in a power armor instead of, you know, just being sneaky. Anyway, if anything happens, I'll show it. Otherwise, see it at, uh, back at the Pridwin. Not good. Not good. Not good. A sentry bot. All right. I've already seen this explode. You see this explode. You see this explode. You see this explode. That was bad. So I dropped off my power armor and all that stuff at County Crossing, and now I'm going back to Fort Strawn to get that other set of power armor and to go get that legendary missile launcher I wasn't able to pick up because, hey, I'm not leaving loot behind. There we go, Nocturnal Missile Launcher, picking that up. All right, approaching Boston Airport on foot. I got all my loot, well, not all of it, all the ones I want, moved to County Crossing. I got my... Two power armor sets in power to crossing. Now I just gotta go back up to the Pridwin and turn in my quest to Elder Maxon. And the way you do that is just walk this little bit way over here. Um, maybe up here? Am I doing this right? I am not quite doing this right. No, okay, yeah, I know how to do this. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. So we have to go in here. Yes, in here. And then the gate is the staircase is right here. And that leads us to this little bird of bird right here, which transports us magically yeah, to the Pridwin. Perfect. <laughs> All right, we're at the Pridwin, so let's go into the Pridwin and talk to Elder Maxon. 
First things first, get all my stuff. Take all. Yes. Now, let's go to the Pridwind. And there's Elder Max. Let's turn this quest in. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. Sarcastic. It was a piece of cake. I'm glad you feel that way. Because it only gets more difficult from here. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. There we go! Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, yeah. sure now that was awesome. Idiot Savant triggered when I turned the quest in. Greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Uh, they're underground. Hmm. Sounds like you're gonna have me crawling through the sewers now. It could be the sewers, the transit tunnels, or maybe an old vault. We just don't have enough information right now. I want you to get out there. And become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions tonight? No questions! Not right now, Elder. Very well then. Dismissed. All right, I got the vertebrate signal grenades. That's it. You can't take the sky from me. Oh yeah, Firefly reference. Okay. Okay, so we got what we came for. Uh, the, what we came for is, quite simply, the vertebrate signal grenades. We will come back to the Pridwin just for when we run out of these. We can buy more of them. So let's favorite these real quick. They're going to go right there below our artillery grenades. Let's not try to get too confused. And so now what I'm going to do is go to County Crossing, pick up a bunch of stuff, and then we'll go on our first, second, third uh, ride to uh, all the way up to Red Rocket Truck stuff with as much loot as I can carry, and then from there we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Uh, that's, that's, it's getting close to being done for the day, basically figure out what I'm going to do next in the next episode. So anyway, I'll see you at County Crossing. For the record, we are not beating this game with the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, it's just too glitchy at this point that I don't want to deal with it. Um, so we'll be going with someone else on that one. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, as a matter of fact, I would say we won't ever, ever come to the Pridwin again, except we will to buy more vertebrate signal grenades when we inevitably run out. Because now we have signal grenades, and now we have artillery grenades, we're getting moving right along to uh, getting what we need to do to beat this game. Perfect. Alright. Alright, so here we go. Our first use of the signal grenade. Let's just put this bad boy right there. A vertebrate has sent to your location. All right, we'll put this back to our frag grenades. So we don't accidentally throw a signal grenade later on. And we're going to take this up to the Red Rocket Truck Stop. I'm in the Brotherhood of Steel Power Armor. There is this XO-1 Power Armor. We'll, we'll, we'll move things around to get things up where we need to go uh, in from there. But then for now, we're just going to do this. show this real quick vertebrate ride. Uh, well, it's the third time. It's the third time. But it's the first time of calling it to me. Uh, the last two times we flew in the vertebrate, we didn't have any control wherever it went. Now we do. And here it comes. So just let let it land, and then we'll get aboard. Come on, old vertebrate. And uh, these are very useful. Since we don't have fast travel and survival, we can now use this to get around. The only limitation is you can only go somewhere you've already been. So there's always that. All right. Board of the vertebrate. Yes. Okay, so you're in, so you open up your Pip-Boy, you go to your map, and you just tell it where to go, and then we are going to go to the Red Rocket Truck Stop. Yes. Fast travel there. There we go. It's now he's got to fly there. And see the E button. 
You push the E button, you land. That's the function that wasn't available when we were flying without uh, over Fort Strong. I was desperately trying to hit E to get the stupid thing to land, but it just wouldn't do it. So, great. So many things didn't go right at Fort Strong, but ultimately we uh, were able to do it. Artillery strike didn't work right, vertebrae didn't work right, but hey, hey, you know, it, it, it made it, so that's what matters. That is a nice big super mutant encampment. We could fire upon them. Uh, who knows what would happen. I think I called an artillery strike in on them, just for practice. I don't remember. No, no, I didn't. That's, that was someone else on YouTube. Sorry, sorry, I was thinking of someone else's YouTube. There's Taffington Boathouse. There's Covenant. So many of my settlements all sit together. We can fire upon we can fire upon anything on the left side of the aircraft, not the right side though, because you know we're always on the left. Uh, if you do shoot at something, unless you kill it, it might chase you for a while, especially a rad scorpion. I think will chase you to the ends of the earth. That's kind of why I'm not firing it, just randomly firing right now. I don't want to. I don't want to attract a rad scorpion's attention. There is the starlight drive. We've got to go back there to get old dog. He's there somewhere, which is fine. Hmm, moving right along. There's Concord little area between the two which I didn't fully explore. I don't see anything though. Wouldn't need to see anything worth walking down on my own. I think we I think we did do that little shack. Oh someone's shooting at me. Some type of sit. Alright we'll, we'll fire on them. We'll fire on them. Try to blow them up with that. Hopefully that does some help. See they took some hits. They took some hits. We took some hits from the synths just because they shot at us. That's right, if they want to attack Red Rocket Truck Stop, we will have lots and lots of turrets to help deal with them if they come this way. And here we go, Red Rocket, they'll land right on top of the crops, because why not? It's not a good landing spot. It's not a good landing spot. Alright, there we go. And then we land and I get out. There we go. And we are not being followed by the Siths. Alright, so there we go. We're at Red Rocket. Let's take a quick a quick drink, get rid of this water. Can't do that with power armor. Of course not. Of course not. Okay, let's put this little guy right here. Perfect. Oops, wrong button. There we go. We're going to take that fusion core. Let's do a quick little look and see what we can craft. Uh, yeah, it, got, it grabbed the right one. Do we have to do any repairs? We do have to do a little bit of repairs, just a little repairs. All right, there we go. Not bad for going into combat against the. Uh, or, nope, that was the wrong thing. That's the wrong thing. Look at that. T60B here, Brotherhood of Steel, flames. Yeah. Oh well, we'll fix it later. We'll fix it later. All right. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is move all my loot from Country County Crossing to Red Rocket Truck Stop, and unless anything important happens, I'm not gonna show any of it. So I'll see you when I'm done. All right, so moving back and forth, I leveled up. Level up right here, and here we go for armor rank 4 mods. Earlier, I kept forgetting to take that, but that's what we want to do there, because we can get a maximum level of Ballistic Weave. So we're going to do that real quick. Armored Army Fatigues, adding 20 to both armor and, ballist and energy resistance. Same thing with Battered Fedora, adding 20 to both damage and energy resistance. Perfect. We'll add nanofilament material to the synth right leg. And polished metal to the chest piece. And we'll keep shadowed on the leather right arm for the, for the bonuses. I don't need that little bit of damage. I got enough from the uh, ballistic weave that I want to keep the shadowed going on. Perfect. Yay for rank four, and now I won't ever have to use it again. But hey, it did what it's supposed to do. Dog meat, I forgot about you. Come on, buddy, you're coming back with me. Come on, boy. It's time to go. All right, so 
I think this is the end for today. So thank you very much for joining me. Uh, the next time we play, we are going to do the next main quest, Dangerous Mind. We're going to go meet Nick Valentine and Good Neighbor. But like I said, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. If you liked it, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And any uh, comments are always appreciated. Thank you very much, and goodbye.